Griffith University Inclusive Futures is a disability research alliance using a new inside-out approach where those with lived disability experiences frame the opportunities and research work to be undertaken. Where Griffith takes a whole of university approach to tackling and answering that opportunity and where the broader health, business, government and general communities actively assist in progressing need to idea to solution. The Inclusive Futures pitch is an opportunity for the world to experience firsthand and live the Inclusive Futures model of research and community and witness the magic that comes from true, user-centric driven, collaborative models of research and resolution. How do you solve a problem you don't yet know exists? And how do you get people to immerse and dedicate themselves in a quest they don't yet know they want to go on? Encourage them to bravely search out the need. Provide them with the people, process and tools that they can use on their quest. And show them the world's readiness and eagerness for them to be part of the dream coming true. We knew that once people saw and experienced the power and possibility of our inside-out, user-centric, whole-of-community approach to disability research and the exponential possibilities it could bring, the people would be hooked and have no choice but to join us and succeed. We wondered over the last six months how we could explain this to the world and we thought the best way to do that was to show them, coming up with pictures. This event is about finding innovations that help people with disability to participate in sport and recreation of their choice in the way that they would like to participate. I'm looking for solutions that have empathy and dignity for the person with disability at the centre and solutions that are actually practical and will work to solve some of the problems that we've been trying to solve for decades and haven't solved yet. I have an intellectually disabled nephew who I focus a lot of my life around now in terms of what I want the world to look like for him as he grows up. And this is a great opportunity for me to be a part of something that can actually make some real change. Coming in from a digital gaming space and the success we've had with regards to bringing people into our process, it's about how do we bring people to sport in the same fun collaborative way. We come from all different backgrounds, all different expertise, and we all have our ideas. But also, more importantly, we're listening to the people that the solutions will go towards. Are all pretty passionate about the same goal and the same, I suppose we have the same vision, so that has really driven us to communicate and come up with what we think is a really great solution. It's been really a delight to see those people have a really strong voice in the co-creation rather than just being interviewed and then the team does something for them. We're producing new ways of thinking, different kinds of ways of understanding and hopefully also some new methodologies where we think about well, what is it that different kinds of abilities uh, can be supported to do? How do we understand the diverse nature of disability? And feed that into the way in which we come to understand the needs and how we need to change our ableist world and that's attitudes and also environments. So there's a whole mix of things that we need to be doing, so hence we need collaborators that come from different perspectives so we can kind of tackle this, you know, complexity of changing our systems. So we had two amazing people with disability in our team. Tim, who does wheelchair sports, and Dwayne. Tim's experience really spoke to me because when he first started playing online games, he couldn't see other people with disability in the games. Dwayne, on the other hand, who has an amazing company called Minds at Play. It gives people an online gaming experience where after a certain period of time, you're locked out of the game and you have to go out and do other things. And so I guess we combined aspects of what Dwayne has found through his business and also what Tim has experienced himself and we brought them together into um, a solution. So after this event, what will happen is that there will be mentors for each team to help the teams to develop their idea a little bit further. 
then we'll have ways of connecting those teams with corporate companies and government agencies that might be interested in taking that idea further. And many of those people will be in the audience today listening to the pitches. From there, we'll have um, different pathways, partnerships, grants, pilots, and already one of the teams was off and running with that, saying actually there's a grant coming that would fit right beautifully with this idea. So we, we already know with some confidence, this is what happens when you have a government policymaker and an academic and an end user sort of with those with lived experience and private industry in the room, things happen. All of these great ideas have to go somewhere at some point and, and even if ours doesn't, you know, it was great to meet other like-minded people um, from different backgrounds who, who want to try and do different. So I think the biggest thing for me was making connection and then hopefully making change again at the end of it. I think it's definitely worthwhile to be involved in the pitch because you're constantly learning, um, you're problem solving things that you probably wouldn't have never thought of if you didn't have that same or different connections with different people you may not have known from different organisations. That was pretty cool. Bring an open mind and be willing to feel uncomfortable and just lean into the process. And those of us who are high achievers often like a sense of control about what we're doing and so one of the things that I've found with, with this process is just that leaning into uncertainty and all being focused on the goal but just being really open to what can happen. We really encourage people with different disabilities to get involved because we so need to hear those voices in our research spaces and hopefully then in our everyday lives in our sport and, and leisure programs. There's no wrong answer. We can all come together to make a difference. Research belongs to all of us. It's something that we all do collectively. We have the end user who knows what they want. We have our, our incredible Griffith researchers who know how to get it done. But now we really do have a community around us that wants it done, that's going to galvanise themselves around any idea that we have and is going to help us to move forward in ways that possibly were unimaginable before. There are no sidelines for people to sit at. Every one of us can progress each of the pitch possibilities somehow and in some way, perhaps by providing insights into what still needs to be done and created. Maybe by providing direct research skills, by networking introductions, or by participating in our many upcoming events. By joining us in our socials and joining the conversations online, and by spreading the Inclusive Futures message in the incredible skills, capabilities, and outcomes of the Inclusive Futures research community. The Inclusive Futures Challenge is to have everyone believe, audaciously imagine and know that they can make a difference to disability research. Big or small, one-off or ongoing, it doesn't matter. It all shifts the needle in the right direction. It all adds up to positive, incredible and sometimes even miraculous changes to the lives of 4.4 million Australians and 1 billion people worldwide living with a disability.